What is up YouTube? This is day 21 of my vlogs, but today is different. It's already 1130 at night. I'm gonna be doing an editing tutorial for you guys for my urban landscape pictures. Pretty much pictures of New York City. And I think you guys would be interested in that. I had a bunch of people asking me over the past two, three weeks since I posted my last editing tutorial for snow pictures, which I'm going to do a part two of really soon because I have some dope snow photos that I want to just do a walkthrough of and how I edited them. But I actually just recorded half of this video, but my screen was not recording, so I have to restart, and that's okay. We're okay. So here we have five photos. We have this one of this bridge. We have one of the city here. And then the same photo unedited so we can compare with the edited photo afterwards. This photo of Times Square edited versus the one that's unedited. I say edited weird. I don't know why. I apologize. And then we have this one of Columbus Circle edited 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 versus the one that's unedited there we go so we have four photos here total I had to count for myself and this first one here of the bridge doesn't have the original because I lost the um because I lost the Lightroom edit edit for it so I can't see exactly what I did to achieve that look but I edited before this so we'll have an idea of what to do. So let's hop right into this here. This photo here, what I originally did was I gave it this super desaturated fade look and it looked really cool and made the oranges and the yellows stand out a lot. So what we're gonna do straight up is first lower the temperature. Make it a little more blue, just like that, just a little bit. Cause it's gonna bring out those blues so that we can desaturate it later. Next we're going to up the contrast, we're going to up the highlights a little bit, we're going to up the shadows all the way, up those blacks all the way, and up those whites just a little bit. Next is clarity. We're going to add a solid 40 clarity just because it gives it this nice look. It breaks a little brighter, you can see that detail a little better, and I like it for this photo. Next we're going to lower the saturation overall for the whole photo. It's been a minus 20. I think that's fair. Next, this is the most important part of this photo, is creating the fade. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bottom point of your tone curve, is you're, and you're going to bring it up and a little bit to the right. Next, you're going to make a point and bring it down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Because you still want that fade. Just like that. Next, you're going to make the yellows a little more orange in the hue section. And after that, you want to go down to your saturations, and you're going to want to lower your greens, blues, aquas, purples, and magentas all the way down to like a 90. They're practically gone, they're practically gone but they're still there. Next is the luminance. Make these colors a little brighter. It looks nice. I think it does at least. Next we're going to go to the highlights and the shadows in the split toning section. I want to add both a little red in the photo. Just a tiny bit for the shadows. Just to give it this nice red feel. I like it a lot. Next a little vignetting. It gives it this nice little dramatic tone to it. I feel like this dramatic feeling. And next is the touch up. Now this is where we're going to go back and mess the photo a little more in certain sections to make sure that it's the best we can get it to be. So I want to up the exposure actually to a solid plus 80. I think that's good. Let's mess with the temperature a little bit. I up the temperature a little bit to get a little more of those yellows and oranges out. But now I want to go back and I want to lower the I want to lower the luminances for them because I think it looks better with a lower luminance than a higher one. 
Now if we up the if we up the highlight section of our tone curve, we can really bring out those highlights and those oranges and all those all those lights all over the bridge and on the water. I think we could bring it up right there. But then we can make this one over here bring that point a little to the right and then go back to our exposure and lower that a bit to about a plus 50 or something like that. I want to go back to the vignetting and lower and make that back to normal. And I think that is an awesome photo. Obviously, if I had more time, I would go into the bridge, make the bridge brighter, make the surroundings of the bottom right of the photo brighter. But we don't have that kind of time, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. Next is this photo of Midtown Manhattan from the Freedom Tower. I was there back in November, and it was awesome. Got some incredible photos, and this is one of my favorite ones. This photo is interesting. I don't usually edit photos this way, so I think it's a learning experience for the both of us. Straight up, we're going to up the contrast lower the highlights all the way, up the shadows a little bit, up the whites a little bit, and up the blacks a little bit, make the clarity a plus 40, and the biggest thing here is the tone curve once again. Straight up, you want to make two points. Actually, no, sorry, scratch that. Make one point up here. First thing you do is you're going to want to bring this like right there, and lower this right there to get those bring out those highlights sorry decrease the highlights and all that right there that's perfect that's exactly where we want it next I wanna up I wanna mess with the temperature figure out the best place to make it so that we can get the least amount of green as possible because it has this green feeling to it and I don't like it I think I'm up tint a little bit to make it a little more purple that, that worked next make the yellows a little more orange and that fixes the green problem we had and next we're gonna go down to the luminances and make the blue much darker along with the aquas and keep the greens the way they are next I want to go down to the saturation and just lower the aquas and the blues just a bit. Next I'm going to go on to the vignetting. Give it a little vignetting, not too much. And as for the camera calibration, I'm going to just get rid of that because I'm too tempted to mess with it even though I have no idea what I'm doing. I use it sometimes but not too much. We're going to go to the split toning and just give it a little bit of that red. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Next, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get those clouds dark. As you can see in this photo here, those clouds are super dark. Okay? So we want that feeling. We want that dark, dramatic, that storm is coming feeling. So, I'm gonna go to my brush here. I'm gonna lower the exposure a bit, lower those highlights, up that contrast, lower the, the saturation, up the clarity make that brush really fucking huge and go crazy on these clouds there we go right there now I want to mess with the temperature of the clouds really lower the saturation now I'm going to go back and just up the exposure just a little bit here. Oh, I don't know what that is. There we go. That's gone now. <laughs> okay. Up the exposure just a little bit more. And I think we have ourselves a finished photo. Obviously, if I had more time, I'd go back into it more and really fix the kinks to make it a better photo. But we don't have the time to do that. And we still have two more photos to edit. And it's been quite some time already. We're going to our next photo here, which is the photo of Times Square. I think this is a dope photo. I'm not a big fan of the edit, to be honest. So I'm actually going to ditch this idea of the edit 
and I'm gonna go I'm gonna edit it completely differently it could end up completely the same I have no idea but I'm just gonna edit it how I feel like editing it how I would edit now not as if it was a month ago because my editing style is always changing so let's go straight into this let's go straight into this up that contrast now this is the biggest decision you have when it comes to photos of Times Square do you want to lower the highlights or do you want to up the highlights I don't think I want the up highlights too high for this one I think I want to keep it like just a little little a little higher than what it normally is up the shadows I want to up those shadows a lot up those whites up those blacks and the reason we're upping all these shadows whites and blacks is because we're gonna go to our tone curve and we're gonna give it grab that bottom point and we're gonna drag it up right there next we're gonna make a new, make a new point and drag it in right there then make a new point drag it right there up the clarity a bit and I think I wanna crop it a little differently I wanna crop it so that so that you can don't really see the buildings I wanna crop it so that you can't really see the buildings to the left just like that Next, we can go in and mess with the hues, make the up the yellows more, or make them more orange. Maybe lower the saturation of your all your cool colors. Add a little highlights and some shadows. Ooh, that looks cool. The blue highlights look cool. Add a little vignetting, and now I want to go in mess with the temperature a bit. I think making it a little more blue makes it look perfect. These are the differences between the photos. I kind of like this new one better. It has a new feel to it. It's new. I like new. So next photo is the one of Columbus Circle. I did not use a brush in this one, which is surprising to be honest, but we're going to go straight into this one. This one isn't going to be too difficult to edit. It's a very simple edit. I edited this photo a lot of times, experimenting with new ideas, but I just couldn't really get what I felt like. I couldn't get what I wanted. So let's up those shadows, up those highlights a little bit, up the whites, and up the blacks. Make the clarity like a plus 25. Get that tone curve, grab that bottom point, and bring it like right there. Now we're going to grab that other point, bring it there and up those highlights just a little bit. Next we're gonna the biggest thing here in my opinion is making that this yellow. You can keep this these you can keep these lights yellow. It's up to you. I personally like them orange. I love it. I don't know why. Next we're gonna make the blues a little more aqua. Like so. Not too much, just a little bit. Just like that. Next I'm gonna mess with the luminance of the blues just like so. I want to make them next I want to mess with the yellows here in luminance wise make them a little more brighter I don't know I like that it's like it gives us like a white light feel and I kinda like it it's pretty cool next is the highlights add a little bit of that red highlights and give it that bluish cyan shadow look just like that. Next, some vignetting. Just a little bit, as always. Made a l the temperature a little more yellow to get the get out those yellows and make it look cool. Next is I want to I want to make the sky look better. Okay, the sky needs to look better. And I think the way we do that is by lowering the exposure and then lowering our whites. Lowering the highlights a little bit and then upping the exposure up until we see its fit. I think that is cool. The sky looks nice. I personally like. I think what I want to do to get this photo to be better is lower the saturations a bit. Just a little bit. And I think that's our finished photo. I think it's pretty cool. It's nothing spectacular, but I think it's a cool photo. Now, these four photos, they were completely different from each other. 
but I kind of edit them the same way. I, I utilize the tone curve, I'll bring up the contrast, add a little clarity, never too much clarity, and I just kind of, I kind of like to mess with the photos, I mess with everything to see, just to see what kind of things that I can create, and photos end up looking really cool. So, if you guys enjoyed this video of how to edit these urban photos, please be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know if you guys want more of these. I'm definitely dropping a part two of my how to edit snow videos. I want to I want to make some for rain, which is similar to snow, but not exactly. I want to do some for portraits and all the other kinds of photography that I do. I think it's a lot of fun, and it gives me some videos to put out while I'm not doing actual vlogs, if that makes sense. So, subscribe if you are new for more of these. And lastly, guys, my name's James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Damn, you just met the girl today and now she's holding your A7R.